Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvind, and we've got another demonstration of a car sketch. And I'm going to try to go with a, a real forced uh, perspective and a real nice dynamic view. So let's get started. All right, the main thing I'm going to do here is I want to, uh, to, to really establish uh, what is a forced perspective. And to do that, I'm going to draw my box, as you've been watching me do on several of my videos here lately. Okay, so this is what we've got. This is pretty forced. This is a pretty wide angle shot. So I'm going to start with adding my ellipse. And then when we get back here, I want to make sure that the ellipse is pretty thin. So notice, you know, I've got the curve right here. This is sort of establishing my initial uh, shape. And then I'm going to come out here. This is pretty much... And then where the bottom of the vehicle is. I'm working with the thick side of the of the marker here. Now I've got that, I'll go ahead and draw in what these headlamps, the shapes are going to be for the headlamp. So I sort of rough that in. Then we got the grill. We'll add that in there. Okay, so I've got the the A pillar. That's all been defined with the A pillar. Um, let me add the the other wheel here, which you're not going to quite see. And then I'm going to add the, the ground plane, the shadow. The shadow is going to be for the vehicle. Now we can come back here and add a little bit of, of form to this. And notice everything is, is really nice and, and just rough. And then I'm just going to fill this in. And when I fill this in, all I'm doing is just sort of identifying this as a major graphical element. Same thing with the fog lamps here. Just making sure that this is identified as a, as a graphic. And then we'll have my 
we'll just have the rear view mirror, side view mirrors here. We'll add a little bit of a reflection here. So, I mean, you can see how I started with uh, with the perspective. In fact, this is probably not as forced as I, as I would have liked it. This is actually would, would have to be quite a bit, the, the angle would have to be uh, quite a bit more, I mean, this one would have to be a little bit more pronounced here. So I didn't quite get this thing right, but. Still, I would say that the, the drawing seems to look correct. We'll add the, the door, the cut line for the door. And then I'm just going to sort of indicate details for the lights, headlamps. That's it. Just going to add the spokes. Okay. All right. Then I'm just going to fill these in. That just pops it all out, so we know where the spokes are. And then we'll build this in too. Now I can come back in here and just go over it with even a darker value for the marker. So anyway, that's that's about it. I, I think still here you know, there were some problems with my initial box and how I set it up, and I sort of changed it as uh, along the way as I started to sketch this thing out because this would probably have to be a little bit taller, but I felt that it was just going to be a little bit too forced uh, to get the right angle that I wanted here. But uh, uh, what can be done with all these drawings when you're doing something really rough and laying it out is that you can come back, you can correct them, you can make some modifications to it, and then start to look at making the drawing a little bit tighter. Uh, when you want to make it tighter, then that means you don't go so broad with a, with a broad tip brush or a broad tip uh, point or chisel point on your on your marker, you may want to go really light. Uh, some of the common things that you see with the entertainment industry is that they go with a very light gray marker. So if I had uh, maybe a level 3 or, or a 30% uh, marker, I'd go in and do the same sketch in 30% and come back with maybe a gel pen and start to tighten up the lines and just add some more uh, definition uh, to, the, uh, to the character of the car. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, demo. We'll see you next time. DrivenMavens.com. Have a good one.